Alright there, hey guys, uh, this is MLMOHQ, and uh, I've got a really neat video for you. Uh, recently, I've been playing around with this fun little new toy called the Oculus Rift. Uh, and of course, with it, I've tried to do many things that are virtual reality. Uh, anything from games, simulations, etc. And this time, I've ran into a virtual reality desktop. Now, what this is, this is actually two programs that are very nice. Uh, the first one, of course, is Bumptop. Bumptop is the actual 3D desktop interface. Uh, I can't promise you that it's actual 3D or if it's simulated, but it looks nice. Uh, and this is coming from someone who is very skeptical of, <clears throat> of a desktop interface that replaces the normal one. I don't like those extra little programs that get in the way. Uh, the next program I want to talk about uh, is actually Desktope. D-E-S-K-T-O-P-E. -E. Uh, what this does is it copies your primary monitor onto the Oculus Rift in a side-by-side -side format. Now the problem with side-by-side -side format uh, is that it gives you a... a uh, what is it? A, um, a very morphed, stretched view. It's not too bad, uh, but slightly noticeable, especially if you've got a large window open. Uh, right now, I'm working with a 0.5 zoom. Normally, it's this big. Yes, I know that is shocking for some of you. Uh, it's manageable. It's pretty nice if you're looking at it really big. But honestly, I've come to like having a 0.5 zoom. Uh, you can send it the screen as need be, and honestly, I think it's a bit off-centered at first. Uh, a nice feature is the uh, the restrict cursor. What it does is, as you can see, it's right above the box. If I move my head, uh, it will actually pull the cursor off, uh, so you can keep it in view at all times. So, if I'm working over here and I look over here. I can say, oh, well, there's a cursor right there, and I'll be like, well, where is it where I last leave it? Oh, it's on the other monitor. So that's very helpful. Uh, speaking of other monitors, the Rift uh, is, of course, you do have to set it up with, uh, set up as a monitor. I actually have it set up directly above me, so if you see a little bit of flashing up there, it's because the monitor you're seeing is a second monitor but on the second monitor you can see it duplicating the first monitor and then duplicating the second so you will not see it up there but it is up there and yet it is also what you're seeing right now so uh, there's a little bit of mind-blowing fun for you uh, what's nice about the bump top desktop is you can select multiple icons in a very unique fashion or you can be clumsy and do something like that. Uh, so you can actually select certain icons, go around other icons. You know, I've selected all but uh, Half-Life 2. Uh, another feature I definitely want to point out is I'm actually using Windows 8. Uh, so what's nice about Desktop uh, is you can actually see the app interface as well uh, with the Oculus Rift. It doesn't mess it up, but it still stays very consistent. Uh, I'll actually try to use an app with it and see what happens. Let's see if it will uh, keep consistent. Yes, it will. All right. So you can actually open apps with it. Everything will work fine. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty fluid. Uh, switch back to the desktop. Close that. Alright, so that's pretty uh, fluid. Oh, as, well, as you can see, uh, I was actually going to mention that programs, if you open it, it will sit right on top of the uh, desktop. So, by that, I mean it doesn't actually have a 3D view on it, it just it is flat. So if you were to open my computer, it's just flat with the desktop. So it doesn't actually have that much of a 3D effect, but it is still nice and it won't hurt your eyes as you're trying to open games with the Rift on. We've all been there. 
again this is at full screen uh, another thing uh, with the I remember the name uh, bump top smaller folders can actually open similar to how an iPhone will with a little interface here which is pretty handy I find it pretty useful if you want to open a little folder without a ton of hassle. Um, you can pin things like uh, pinning a f uh, photo, slideshow, uh, a Twitter, or email setup. Normally it's got a Facebook one, but it hasn't been working for me, so I removed it. Uh, so yeah, I believe that is just about the basics of it. Uh, it works pretty nice. I have not tried to open a game with it yet so I can't promise you with that. I have tried playing uh, RuneScape with it, which is uh, pretty pretty nice. I mean, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, but, um, but yeah, it actually is a really novelty thing to uh, have a virtual reality desktop. Could could go places or it could go nowhere. Uh, I'm sure there are people that are trying to work on something better, but for the time being, uh, it's a really fun thing to do. Uh, it doesn't uh, seem to cause any sort of uh, nausea or anything because you have to move your head to track with it, so it's very fluid. You're getting normal head movements, uh, and you're not walking around like in a game. So uh, it works pretty good. I think I'll continue to use it, and if you're interested in using it, I'll be placing the links in the description. Uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a favorite, a like, whatever you want to do. Uh, put a smiley face in the comments for all I care. I mean, there, oh, there you go. Put a shocked face. Uh, so, again, like if you enjoy, uh, and comment if you want to see more Rift Focus videos. Alright, see you later, and peace out.